Hey guys, Phil here from Fit Pros. Do you find it difficult to stick to your diet? When it gets around to the evenings, do you get carb hungry and want to eat everything in sight? Here's my three easy steps to losing fat in a sustainable way without eating less. Sticking to a diet can be hard, but if it's so hard that you can't stick to it, then there's no point in doing it. Whatever approach you take needs to be sustainable to be effective, but that doesn't mean you have to force yourself to do a harsh diet to lose fat. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple strategy that you can start right now so you can lose fat in a sustainable and realistic way. Step one involves delaying breakfast by a few hours. We're not skipping breakfast or eating any less, we're just eating it at a different time. This is by far the easiest strategy that you can start right now that'll let you lose fat in a sustainable way. First thing you want to do is figure out what your current fasting period is. Your fast period is going to be the length of time between your last meal of the day and your first meal of the next day. For most people it's about 12 hours. Our goal is to increase it gradually to 16 hours. I wouldn't recommend increasing it by more than one to one and a half hours each week until you get to 16 hours. When you start, you may feel hungry, but your body will adapt to the new eating schedule. You're looking at about three to 10 days before it fully adapts. Step two is to drink more water. Drinking more water is the easiest way to lose fat. You'll feel better and it'll make your fat loss much more manageable. It'll also help you lose fat. Aim for one liter per 25 kilo of body weight. So if you weigh 75 kilo, you'll want three liters of water a day. Herbal and fruit flavored teas are a good option as well and totally fine during the fasting period. Step three and our last step is to move your carbs. The strategy itself will depend on your current nutrition, but again, we're not eating any less carbs, we're just eating them at a different time. It'll mean you have a huge amount of guilt-free carbs in the evening when you want it most without exceeding the amount of carbs that you'd normally have. So I'll break this down into two parts. The first part is for those of you that aren't following any sort of nutritional strategy right now, and the second part is for those that are. So the first approach is for those of you that aren't following a fat loss strategy right now and want to start dropping body fat straight away. We're going to redesign the composition of your meals using your hand as a tool to scale and size each food group onto your plate. The first thing to think about is protein. You'll want a palm size amount of protein per meal. So roughly about that size and that's going to be a lean protein. So things like chicken, turkey, lean beef, fish, that sort of thing. You'll also want a fist size amount of green veg. Minimum fist size, but it's unlimited, so you can have as much as you want. Nobody ever gained weight from eating too much green veg, so have as much as you want. If you don't eat green veg right now, just try and introduce it gradually, a little more each week. I'm not mad about green veg, but I managed to get it into meals. You can hide it in meals quite easily. It'll make your fat loss so much easier by adding to the total volume of food and making you feel fuller for a lot longer. The last part of your meal is going to be your fat. So you want a thumb size amount of fats per meal. Examples of all of these, the protein, the greens, and the fats are in the description below. The example I just gave is for a female, so guys are going to want twice as much. So that'd be two pounds of protein, two fists of green, two thumbs of fats per meal. Add in whatever herbs and spices you like to make it more palatable. Frank's hot sauce and tomato puree are also really good low calorie options to add more flavor. A typical meal might look like a chicken breast between 140 and 160 grams, depending on your body weight. Shred it with a fork, a few peppers in the oven and roast them, along with a bit of torn up spinach, uh, maybe a thumb of avocado or possibly butter to uh, flavor it. If you're really short on time, just make your dinner in the way that I just mentioned, a palm of protein, a fist of green, a thumb of fats, and then make twice as much. Throw half in a container and bring it to work with you the next day for lunch. If you don't think that'll be enough and if you want to make this really quick and easy, just make three times as much and bring two separate meals to work with you the next day. If you're following a macro-based plan like flexible dieting, it's even easier to implement. You know exactly what your carb goal for the day is. All you need to do is your fast period and then have your first meal of the day without carbs and then introduce carbs in your second and third meal of the day depending on how many you have. The important thing is we're moving our carbs towards the evening meals when we want them the most. It's a simple and quick way to reorganize your food for fat loss. There's no extra preparation time, there's no exotic ingredients to source, and there's no cookbooks to follow. Fat loss can be simple and manageable if your strategy is simple and manageable. If you like this video, please tag any friends that might like it too and ask any questions in the comments below. Thanks guys.